Good morning everybody, we're on 11.3.6 FSD Beta. We're gonna be taking it for a quick drive this morning. Now on some of my first tests, it was having a lot of hard times going through stop signs and traffic lights, but just yesterday I took it on a 130 mile drive and it did amazing. I wanna say it was almost zero disengagement, maybe a few throttle interventions. Let's take it for a ride. All right, here we go, we're on 11.3.6. Let's go ahead and turn on the Beta. See if we can. All right, let's go. All right, FSD beta is on. So yeah, I took it out yesterday on about a 130 mile ride through uh, a lot of freeway driving, but it did an amazing job entering the freeway, exiting the freeway, zero disengagement, pretty impressive. It almost seems like after they do an update. It takes a few days and, and it gets better. I don't know how. Oh, we got some speed bumps. I got to slow down. Oh, I had to disengage there too. Did not see speed bumps. Turn it back on. I'm going to go ahead and slow it down this time for this speed bump. Speed bump could ca cause a problem if you're going in hot. But yeah, super excited to see if we're going to get another update. I know we were getting those dot releases. I'm going to slow it down again. We were getting those dot releases almost every week, but we've almost gone. It's Sunday today, so if we don't get another update, we will see. We will get one soon, I hope. All right, so we got a pretty far creep limit. It looks like uh, up to the street. It's creeping for visibility. we got a car in front. And we do have a car on the right. And it's, it did a pretty good job there. Kind of creeped into the middle lane. That's not how I would do it. I would have just stayed at the stop sign till the car passed and then motioned out. I really hope we get some new type of cameras that can see more and I don't know what it is. I feel like Beta could have stopped at that stop sign and waited for the traffic and just, you know, instead of creeping out into that middle lane. Let's see what we have it set on. So I did have it on chill, and let's go ahead and turn on the minimal lane changes. Even with minimal lane changes right there, it started to do some phantom arrows. That's like four in a row, and the car behind me is going, what the hell's going on? He is slowing down a little bit back there. So that, I don't like that. The Phantom Arrows are probably one of my biggest pet peeves going on right now. I mean, the lane navigation and tracking is an issue as well, but it's just, don't put on the blinker. Don't let people around me aware that we don't know what the hell we're doing. I like to keep it more low profile. It is warming up in Vegas, 78 degrees, so I'm going to put on the AC. Hopefully it doesn't blow too loud. I'll keep it low. The more and more I drive beta this week, it's very impressive, though. It feels very confident. It's doing a better job trajectory in, or staying in the right trajectory for the lanes. It's just really the the biggest issue right now is that phantom blinker in the, in the uh lane guidance. I, I notice it'll get me in the wrong lane quite a few times when i rather just stay in one lane. Not too sure how they'll solve it, but we will see. So we're going to be going down this road. We're going to be entering here the freeway here pretty shortly. And I do want to say on the freeway drive, it was probably about 80, 90 miles on the freeway yesterday and absolutely zero phantom braking, which was pretty amazing. All right, we're arrowing over merging into the right lane now coming up here it does have three lanes split up you kind of and it did very good job there even without the lane markings oh it kind of went all over the place lost track of the lane so that one is a tough one because there is no lane markings but everybody knows that drives this area they get into the right lane to get for the freeway here got the traffic behind us creeping up fast let's see how we do around this turn very 
pretty slow blinker on. All right, we're clear to the left, and it's going. Staying in its lane. Now let's see how it does on this huge lane opening up. So it looks like it's staying towards the right. Not bad. It could never do this before the full stack, that's for sure. Now it always had a problem as well entering this lane. So let's see, we're doing 65, no traffic behind. So it shows the arrow, but I feel like it never moves, it never arrows over to the right lane, but it will follow the lane. You see how it did just there? I think it needs to learn how to get merged in a little bit better. And again, we're on a uh, chill, minimal lane changes. When you do hit right, it'll like kind of go over to the average, but I've noticed that in chill, it does even less lane changes. I think, I feel like even when it's in assertive with minimal lane changes, it, it just changes unnecessarily sometimes. All right, we just got, we just hit a slowdown for 55 and the people behind me are doing 65. So again, I know Beta's trying to follow the speed limit, but who the hell goes 75 and then goes 55? The traffic goes fast. All right, now we got a 45. So I am gonna slow it down in this area. Got no traffic behind. I don't mind doing the speed limit as long as I don't have people doing 30 miles an hour behind me over. Oh, a little tight coming in there. We're slowing down to 45 now, hot. I'm gonna go five over. But overall, really, really good. Uh, the disengagements have gotten very uh, few. The sad part is beta, my subscription ends on the 24th and I really wanna get it onto the Model Y, but the problem with the Model Y is it's on the 2023 branch of uh, updates. So it's not on the 2022, the FSD update. So if I upgrade to beta on the newer vehicle, I'm just gonna sit there with traffic. I'll just have lane changes, that's it. I won't have the beta until this version of 2022.11.6 goes to the 2023 branch. As soon as that happens, I'm gonna make a video. I'm gonna go to the Model Y, download FSD beta, and see if we get the beta. Because the worst thing is paying a subscription for months and months and months while you're waiting for the beta going, what the hell? By the time you get the beta, you almost just want to rage quit the whole system. Let me know if you felt that before. Oh, another phantom arrow there. It said something about navigate on autopilot. Disengage there for a minute as well. I am going to speed it up 10 over. It does tend to give me that warning to apply slight uh, pressure to the wheel whenever it sees a lot of cones and some type of uh, construction, which we're kind of in here. Now, as soon as we get past this construction, we're gonna be arrowing over to the right, or hopefully we will, and exit the freeway. Looks like we have no one to our right, so we are clear, kind of ping-ponging in this lane. Now we got our arrow over. I really do just love the smooth transitions from freeway to city. This new beta is just amazing. All right, we do need to get in the far right lane. Went in a little bit wide there. Very smooth. I can only imagine now that we're on the full stack and then once they merge everybody over to the same version, meaning like 2022 dot whatever versus 2023, there's, there's like two or three different versions out there currently. But once everyone gets onto the same stack and they really just start putting a lot of energy into these little edge cases, I just can't believe, I. I'm so excited to see where uh, beta goes in the future. Now we do need to inch out. We got to, we're clear to the left up to the lane, the close lane. Now we got a car coming. You can see that blue one coming. I like that we're far enough around the creep. This is exactly kind of where I would stop the turn. Now we are clear now. I'm going to go ahead and give it a little throttle, inch beta on as we have traffic behind us. Off the throttle. 
So the disengagements have got few. There's still interventions where you got to give it some throttle, you know. Looks like we're pulling here into the parking lot. Nice and smooth. Oh my god. All right. That's going to wrap it up right there. It's it it the there we were probably up in the air a little bit as far as the the cameras probably couldn't even see. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for another quick FSD beta update 11.3.6. I do want to answer a few uh, comments here that I've received. Uh, Sarah says, nice video, but are you interested in Tesla the Tesla translucent center console organizer? Now, I'll tell you what, between this channel, I get so many requests for sponsorship. I really just don't do much sponsorships. Now, uh, YouTube search S says, report the issues when it's happening and you might see improvements eventually. Very cool. And I do like that new feature now that if you disengage, it does prompt you to leave some feedback. So I try to use it as much as possible. But sometimes we forget. EH Nice says, love the 18 inch rims, functional and more race car than the rubber band 21s. And he's talking about the Model Y. I got the uh, 245 50 series 18s on it, which it comes standard with the 21 inch uber turbines and it is amazing with those little race car tires z zxsu says a while back fsd was okay and now it sucks he goes the car's making really dumb decisions and i just turned it off completely in a uh, normal autopilot i tell you what i've been there i've rage quit off this fsd beta many times but this latest update of 11.3.6 uh, is really doing an amazing job it almost seems like after you download it, it just gets better after a couple days. So strange. Cooper Day says, I just bought a 2023 Tesla Model 3 and I have not been able to en enable the FSD. It just says FSD will be available on the update on the upcoming software release. Anyone know why? So basically what that is, is you're not going to be able to get the FSD beta until the 2022.44 or whatever we're on now, the 11.3.6 turns into the 2023 branch. As soon as it goes to the 2023 branch, I'm pretty sure it's going to let you download that beta ASAP. Well, thank you very much for watching, everybody, and we will see you on the next one.